हेलो एंड वेलकम आज की वीडियो बहुत स्पेशल होने वाली आज मैं आपको बताऊंगा कैसे मैं एआई टूल्स का यूज करके अपना रिसर्च पेपर लिखता हूँ आई एम अबाउट टू कम्प्लीट माई टू ईयर्स ऑफ पी एच डी एंड सो फार आई रिटर्न टू पेपर ऑलरेडी वेन वुड समबडी थिंक अबाउट राइटिंग अ रिसर्च पेपर यू हैव द रिजल्ट देर आर पब्लिशेबल देन एंड ओनली देन यू कैन थिंक ऑफ राइटिंग अ पेपर यू डोंट हैव दैट इन योर हैंड इफ यू डोंट हैव द रिजल्ट विद यू इट डजेंट मेक सेंस टू राइट अ रिसर्च पेपर इट्स अ लिटरेचर रिव्यू पेपर देन इट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी जाके पहले काम करो एक्सपेरिमेंट्स परफॉर्म करो डेटा एनालिसिस करो मॉडल बनाना है ट्रेन करना है Whatever that is, पहले वो करो वो करने के बाद इस चीज पे आना एंड देन ये कुछ हेल्पफुल हो एंड आज मैं अपनी एक गाइड को फॉलो करूंगा जो गाइड मैं बना रहा था एंड सुन यूल बी गेटिंग दिस गाइड ऑन माई टॉप माई प्रोफाइल द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन गो चेक आउट देर आर अदर फ्री पी डी एफ गाइड्स एज वेल फॉर एफ वन वीजा एस ओ पी रेज्यूमे सी वी यू नो ई मेल टेम्पलेट टू द प्रोफेसर एवरी थिंग इज अवेलेबल फॉर फ्री जस्ट गो देर एंड डाउनलोड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो ऑन योर स्क्रीन वट योर सींग इज द पी डी एफ गाइड जिस पर मैं पिछले दो तीन महीने से काम कर रहा था वट इज द टाइटल ए पावर रिसर्च राइटिंग सम लिटल इंट्रोडक्शन विल स्किप दिस पार्ट यू कैन सी दस इन माई पी डी एफ गाइड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लिविंग रिड्यूस विद ऑल द टूल्स दट विल बी यूजिंग इन द ऑल इन ऑल दी स्टेप्स दट विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट लेटर ऑन सो लेट्स फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द टूल्स दैट आई पर्सनली यूज एंड आई हैव बिन यूजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ दीज टूल्स फॉर माई रिसर्च पेपर एंड विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैम वेयर वी गोना यूज दीज टूल्स Uh, as we move ahead with these steps of writing the research paper so you can see grammarly is there chat gpt cloud perplexity elicit size space consensus connected paper research rabbit liner jenny ai site notebook lm mendeley zotero and you have the whole list along with what is the purpose of these tools and the the link as well you can just simply click on these and you'll go to the uh, the ai tool okay we'll see how we can use them just to give you a, a brief about the tools that we are using so what's the first step in writing a paper so the first step is this is what i follow once i'm once my analysis is done experiments and i don't usually perform experiments i usually deal with the data that i that i have and i try to make models out of it or train some models maybe deep learning models statistical models whatever that is that once my analysis is done i have the results with me that is publishable uh, something that that i can write a paper about i follow these steps the very first step is to generate the skeleton a prompt essentially is what set of instructions that you give to a, a model or or tool which in our case is chat gpt you can use it on cloud as well perplexity or whatever model you want to use or whatever website you want to use so this is what i do act as a seasoned researcher with over 20 years of expertise blah 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 whatever that is and then the first thing that i do is generate the skeleton of the paper now skeleton is the backbone of the paper it consists of all the sections subsections the thing that you're going to mention in each subsection the whole flow of the paper it is very important that's why i have made this prompt freely available on this pdf guide for a limited time again i might start charging on these pdf guides very soon so make sure you go grab them the link is in the description top mate okay so you have to paste your paper idea here and i want you to think about this idea the description of your uh, whatever analysis whatever work you have try to explain this thing to chat gpt or whatever model you are using in a very nice way if you put this in a very nice way you will get a very nice skeleton just to give you an example this is what i put as as a, a description about my research uh, this paper proposes a novel deep uh, re- learning architecture that integrates cnn and attention mechanism blah 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 so this is the structure that chat gpt provided me first we'll start with abstract then introduction related work methodology in the methodology you have the sections subsections and what you're going to mention in those sections as well and then then you have experiments that you might have performed or some sort of an analysis that you might have performed and then you have results discussion conclusion and references so this is the whole skeleton believe me this this is a very great starter for a research paper because otherwise you feel lost second comes the abstract now abstract is the concise summary of your whole research which provides reader a very brief overview of your work very important very important it's like the hook of a reel hook of a short hook of a youtube video that gets the attention of the of the viewer in our case like for example you are a, as a viewer i'll try to get your attention same goes for the paper your abstract tries to get the attention of the reviewer it has to be good so what are the key elements that you have to mention the key elements are mentioned here which basically involves setting up the background first and then you uh, mention the research question the methodology little bit about the research and the conclusion this is what you have to do in 200 or 250 words or 300 word based on the journal right once you're done with your paper as a whole then you 
you go ahead and write your abstract that's what it is right i have mentioned a lot of other things i'm just gonna skim through all these details for example using a hook line in your abstract i personally like using hook lines a lot for example with rising global demand for cleaning energy clean energy understanding whatever the topic is is more critical than ever so you have to make it look like you're making a reel there has to be a hook line in this start right everything is mentioned here i'm not going to go through each and of each one of uh, the situation here abstract write it once you finish writing your paper let's go ahead and talk about introduction versus literature review there are two approaches for the introduction part the first is either you can write introduction and then write your literature review or you can just mix them together i personally prefer combining them together that way i'm able to narrate this story in a better way uh, let's talk about what to keep in your introduction so introduction basically consists of three parts you have to set set up the you have to lay the foundation of your research so background and giving the context is important next comes the problem statement what is exactly that you are trying to do in the paper what is your problem that you are trying to solve third is going to be your research objectives and questions like what what are the things that you are going to uh, perform be concise and very focused on these things okay and then you talk about the significance of the study why this is important and then you give an overview of the paper when i say overview of the paper you basically talk about this paper is organized in four sections section one talks about this section two talks about this little like three four lines about the overview okay just to give you an example if you are from let's say for transport engineering this is how my introduction would be now let's talk about literature review in the literature review you have to first of all define everything starts with defining the problem right the first paragraph would again consist of defining the problem then you have to discuss existing research now this is where you have to work really hard and we are going to use AI tools here and then you have to highlight the gaps this is something where you have to apply your brain of course not everything uh, can be done by using AI tools you have to apply your brain you have to still use your brain to frame it in a nice way okay uh, that's it so this was little overview about what is introduction what is literature review how to write them what are the things you need to con consider while writing these things now drum roll the moment you've been waiting for how to use the ai tools here the whole literature review part i divided into sections and subsections okay the first paragraph is about setting the foundation okay i've mentioned it here second paragraph is about delving deeper into that field talking more about that field third is exploring some alternative approaches for example, uh, talk about papers that have used some other methods, some other models, some other ex form of experiments, whatever that is, right? Then you build your case on top of whatever you have discussed so far. Essentially, this is what you have to do in your literature review. I may be, may be not totally correct. I may be wrong. Even I'm exploring this for the first time. So this is the prompt we'll be using for our literature review. You just have to paste your description about the research here and it's going to give you a paragraph-based literature review, okay? I'll show you the example later on. Streamlining the literature review process using AI tools. Now, this is this is really important. I'm telling you, this is really important. So there are two things we need to take care of. First is AI tools. Second is reference management. For reference management, what we do is we use, I use Mendeley and sometimes Zotero as well. So these are the two good reference managers that I know of. So you can use these freely available, just download them and you can add your paper uh, name, details, author name, uh, uh, you know, journal name, DOI and everything will be saved in these reference managers so that you can use them later on while you're referencing to a particular sentence in your Word document or Overleaf or whatever that is, right? So this is where reference management uh, comes really handy. If you and if you have no idea, zero idea, I would say just watch some YouTube videos or I can make a separate video about explaining how you can effectively use Mendeley and Zotero. So using AI tools for summarizing papers. This is where we'll be using AI tools for writing a literature review, okay? So, 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 so the tools that I use are Elicit, SciSpace. Right? You can just refer to the tool use section in, in my guide and just go to their website. But I sometimes also use Research Rabbit and uh, Connected Papers, Consensus and all these tools as well. You can explore these tools in whatever way you want. Just to give you an example of how this Elicit thing looks like. What happens to a male when he falls in love? When he falls in love oh damn hormonal changes when falling in love so it has provided us with the summary of the top four paper so if you go for a pro version you can use up to 10 15 20 25 paper to generate that abstract or uh, summary of those papers so you see you have the summary with you you have the the uh, reference to it as well so this is how you use ai tools i just give you an example of using elicit you can use other tools as well that i have mentioned in the tools use section okay so again a simple example of deep learning in healthcare this is something that i've searched and i got a summary as well remember i was talking about using this prompt here uh, for getting a paragraph based literature review uh, an outline for that in the prompt i've also mentioned that to the chat gpt or whatever model is it is once you're providing me with the idea of that particular paragraph also give me the key idea that i'll be discussing second would be the keywords uh, that i should use for searching on websites like elicit where i can get a better result and then purpose as well 
I want to know what is the purpose of writing this particular paragraph. Because you have to make a nice flow in your paper. You cannot just abruptly mention anything and start uh, explaining something. Everything has to make sense. You have to knit it in a very nice way, in a very story-like structure. And then how you're going to transition to the next paragraph. These are the four key ideas I want in each paragraph that ChatGPT is mentioning me. And in the next paragraph, it's talking about convolutional neural networks in medical imaging. Don't worry if you don't know about CNN, I'm just trying to give you an example of how the flow will be maintained. And we are using AI here. Believe me, it's a game changer. It has been a game changer for me and I hope it's it, it's gonna help you in your research as well. So on and so forth, you get paragraph based outline for your literature review. And then based on these keywords, what you can do is search about this paragraph in LSR on, on LSR or um, uh, other tools that I've, for example, SciSpace is one. You can go to SciSpace, do a similar kind of a search here. And uh, for that search, what you can you what you can do is use these keywords because keywords become really important when you are searching for papers uh, in this whole corpus of uh, research paper that is available uh, on these websites. So that is why I have I have mentioned in my prompt provide me the keywords as well, topics as well, so that I can search in a better way. Again, don't just copy paste everything that you are getting here. This is a good starter. I'm not saying you cannot use it. You can use it. This is a good starter. Use this as a as a as a base. Use this as a foundation, and then develop your literature review on top of. That's what I'm suggesting here. Don't just copy paste blindly. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. Okay. And I personally feel these are the two very important uh, sections in your research paper. Introduction, uh, literature review, and then once you are done with all the other parts, then you have to write your abstract. Let's move to the soul of the paper. The soul of the paper is the methodology and result. And that is what I mentioned in the start of the video as well, that you need to have your methodology set. You need to have the results in your hand that are publishable, analysis, modeling, whatever that is, that is the soul of the paper. A lot of time people are confused about how they should mention their methodology. How should they talk about their data and their model and then things that they are using and the tools that they are using, how to do that? Best way is, just take inspiration from the published paper. Randomly go and search for papers on Google Scholar or the AI tools that I have mentioned here. Tools used, right? SciSpace, Elicit, Consensus, Connected, connected Paper, Research Rabbit, Liner, Site, um, and all these websites. You can go there and uh, what you can do is search for published paper, take inspiration from those papers, study about how they are uh, trying to explain their approach, right? You can take inspiration from them. So and this is what I always say to people, use the tools, don't let them use you. You still have to use your brain. So this whole facade of saying that, you know, you can write a paper using AI tools. I have been there. I have seen a lot of videos where people claim a lot of fancy things, right? You can just give a prompt to chat GPT and it's gonna write paper for you, do the analysis, blah, blah, blah. Believe me, it doesn't work like that. Use these AI tools or any AI tool as an assistant. You as a manager of all these AI tools should know what you want them to do. If you yourself are not clear about what you want them to do, you will not be able to write a good prompt, a proper instruction. And if you cannot instruct somebody of what output you want from them, you will always get a shitty output, right? You will get something that is that is of no use. That's why you might have seen this in my prompts as well. I want you to paste your paper idea or description. And this is something that you cannot ask at GPT to come up with. You and you have to write this description. You can only write this description when you have the idea of what you're doing in the paper, right? This is the flow that I use for my research paper. I hope I was able to give you some sort of an idea about this whole process. This PDF guide is going to be soon available on my TopMate profiles. Link is in the description go check it out there are other pdf uh, guides as well freely available go download them and if you really want to keep yourself updated with when i'll be posting this guide on my top mid profile follow me on instagram subscribe my channel that's it in today's video see you in the next video till then bye bye